A Staten Island woman has a jaw-dropping collection of historical artifacts charting the African-American experience, and she's got it all especially well-preserved inside her home. CBS New York's Dave Carlin explains. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Elizabeth Meter's Staten Island home is packed with more than 50,000 pieces of history. We have Joe Lewis, and of course we have Muhammad Ali. Her name is Ida B. Wells. She was a journalist, and she had her own newspaper. She was doing stories on lynching. It's good that she's next to Harriet Tubman, because these are people who spent their entire life. They never stopped what they were committed to. This is a picture of uh, Bessie Coleman, and Bessie Coleman is the first African-American woman to have a pilot's license, and she was a stunt flyer. This, of course, I love because who doesn't love Ray Charles? They deserve to be showcased uh, as they gave back so much. Oh, I see. There's more. Every room of this 87-year-old retired school teacher's home is themed. I've attempted to document 11 areas of African-American life and in essence, the totality of our experience. This is my folk art room. The folk art is usually scraps. They used to make them out of socks, and so you had two unmatched socks. You use one to make a doll, the other one to stuff the dolls. We're now we're in my slavery and abolition um, room. Here's an example of the sadness, the very fact that you took a people and you had to restrain them. Shackle. This is the shackle, and this is the slavery, the slave owner's whip, so he can keep, keep the slaves uh, in order. And this would go on an ankle for a troublesome slave, so that he can't run away, but he still can pick cotton. This is what I call my civil rights and my civil wrong, because I also have a collection of hate groups. My focus is on the Ku Klux Klan. So this is a outfit belonging to the Grand Dragon of Louisiana. Any item that makes her sad or angry is placed near something that does the complete opposite. This is what moves me the most, that some individual, after Dr. King was assassinated, he actually had and went to the trouble on his own to make a sign, and he put this in his window. In respect to the beloved memory of Dr. Martin Luther King, this store will be closed during period of funeral service. All of these pioneers, you know, we embraced them because we never had it. But that is why I was so excited about Jackie Robinson. And I think that's why African Americans take so much joy in the victory of Barack Obama. Because without a doubt, I never believed that I would live to see an African American president. I, I am still in shock. She is Staten Island, born and raised, and went to this elementary school, PS21, where she was one of only three black students in her entire class. Elementary, high school, at no level was African American history taught. And uh, this is a disgrace. She put this together bit by bit over the past six decades on a modest teacher's salary. Blackamoor porcelain from the early 1900s, reflecting elegance and nobility juxtaposed with other items now seen as disparaging. Our history is unique. It's the story of tears and triumphs, and it deserves to be heard. What is different is the path is doable. Now the door is open, even though the path is still tricky, but at least the door is open. And to get where you're going, know where you've been. In Mariners Harbor, Staten Island, Dave Carlin, CBSN New York. Meter says she hopes to find a benefactor or philanthropist to take over and help it live on for generations to come. And you can watch all of our Black History Month stories on our website, cbsnewyork.com.